healthy eating hacks that are practical and easy to do. Hi Thrivers and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about nutrition tips to help you thrive. I'm excited to share these healthy eating hacks, some you may have heard before and some might be new to you. Either way, I hope they inspire you to try some new habits to nourish your body. These tips that I've shared with my clients in my nutrition counseling practice that they found really helpful and really beneficial. Plus, I'm super psyched to share that we are doing our first giveaway. Watch to the end to see how you can win this beauty. Plan it out. If the thought of meal planning makes you want to groan, stick with me here. When we plan out our meals for the week, it not only encourages healthy eating, but it also saves our brain power. Instead of spending those 20 minutes every evening standing in front of the fridge and the pantry trying to decide what to cook or just say heck with it and go out, all you have to do is look at your plan and know what you can get cooking. This saves time, energy, and stress. I always write out our weekly meal plan and it's posted in our kitchen so that even if I'm busy, my husband can see what the plan is and can get things started without me. In my private practice, I utilize a meal planning program called Eat Love. Using this program, I create individualized meal plans for each client and they get over 7,000 dietitian reviewed recipes to help them hit their goals. If you're interested in my meal planning programs, I'll drop a link in the description. So grab your phone, your planner, or just a regular old piece of paper and write out five meals for the week. Come Monday at 6 p.m., you'll be glad you did. Stock up on nourishing snacks. Snacks can absolutely be part of healthy eating throughout the day. Heck, sometimes they are crucial to good eating success. Cueing into your hunger is important, and if you need a snack to keep you going until dinner, go for it. These nourishing snacks can be different for everyone. Are you a sweet or savory? Creamy or crunchy? Here are a few ideas to stock up on, starting with super simple. Nuts are packed with minerals and healthy fats to fuel your body. Grab a handful or make your own trail mix. So easy. Fruit, always a good and quick choice. Bananas and apples are easy go-tos, but don't forget the antioxidant powerhouses, berries. Popcorn with nutritional yeast is my favorite crunchy and savory snack. Seriously, so good. You get that umami cheesy flavor, plus it's packed with vitamin B12. Other ideas that can take a little effort, but you can make ahead are hard boiled eggs, crispy roasted chickpeas, seasoned edamame. Check out my snacks video for the details on those. Another one that I love are energy bites. Peanut butter cup energy bites are one of the most popular on my website, and I'm sharing this recipe with you today. Everything goes into the food processor, you whir it up, then you roll your energy bites into little balls and pop them in the fridge. Now you have a quick, protein-packed, good-for-you snack when hunger strikes. Hydration. Drink up that water. How many of you struggle with drinking enough water each day? I know when it's cold out, drinking water can be more difficult for some people compared to when the weather is warm and we have more of those thirst sensations. Yet keep in mind that hydration is an important part of our health and it can help aid in weight loss. Plus when it's cold out, the air tends to be much drier and drinking water is even more important. One trick to help remind yourself to drink water is called habit stacking. This comes from the book Atomic Habits by the author James Clear. Habit stacking is when you build or add a new behavior on top of a current one. For example, if you want to start your day with a glass of water, stack it with another morning habit. If you step one foot out of bed and want that cup of coffee, add a glass of water to it. Before I have my cup of coffee, I'm going to drink a glass of water. Stacking the first cup of coffee with a glass of water starts your day with hydration and then it will eventually become automatic. And if plain water is getting boring, Jazz it up with some sliced cucumber or whatever fruit you have on hand, and even frozen fruit works great here too. Plus, you will feel a little fancier with your fruit-infused water, and I'm betting you'll drink even more. Put the good stuff on display. There's that old saying, we eat what we see. 
And this is definitely true. In my ways to eat more veggies video, I talked about not hiding veggies in the crisper where they turn brown and we throw them out a week later. Well, this tip is about putting fruit out and those nourishing snacks front and center to grab as a snack or an addition to a meal. If your nuts are hidden on a low shelf in the back of your pantry, behind your kids' chips and crackers, you're likely to forget about them and just go for your kid's stash. So put your fruit out in a pretty bowl on the counter, put the nuts, dried fruit, and nourishing snacks on an eye level shelf in your pantry, and set up your fridge with the good for you things at eye level. Eating what you see will work to your advantage. Use your freezer and pantry as your fallback plan. Sometimes no matter how much we have planned our day, things can go awry. A kid gets sick, you get sick, meetings get moved, practice times change. So having some freezer and pantry items that you know you can throw together in a meal helps in those crazy days. Rice or pasta from your pantry are clutch for fallback meals. Add some protein in the form of canned chickpeas or beans or whatever protein you have in your freezer along with some frozen veggies. Plus, there are so many recipes out there on the internet. You can literally type in what you have and the internet will come back with meal ideas in a flash. So keep your freezer stocked up with some frozen veggies, some fallback proteins, and then keep your pantry stocked with beans, chickpeas, rice and pasta, and you've got a meal no matter what your day brings. Small changes equal big results. In general, I'm a big proponent of starting with small changes to add up to big results. If you try to make big sweeping changes all at once, like, okay, I'm gonna do all these tips tomorrow, I hate to break it to you, but the chances are pretty high that you'll fail. But if you picked two things or even one thing to implement this week, would that seem more doable? For example, this week I am going to make some energy bites so that I have a nourishing snack that I can go to when hunger strikes. Think about what small thing you can do this week to get you closer to your goals next week, next month, and beyond. Set your kitchen and yourself up for success. Keep a cutting board out to make food prep easy. We're following another Atomic Habits tip, which is make it easy. Leave your cutting board out on your counter or prop it up against your backsplash, whatever you like, so that it's easy to access, which makes it easy to quickly cut up an apple or even dive right into making dinner. If we keep the cutting board behind closed doors, like in a cabinet or in a drawer, we've added friction. Now, instead of simply grabbing that apple and knife, we have to bend down, open the cabinet, move stuff off of the board, then get the board out, find a place for it on the counter that could be cluttered, and then we have to get the apple and knife and chop it up. To help set you up for success and continue these healthy habits, which I'm so passionate about, and as a way of saying thanks for tuning in, we're giving away this beauty of a cutting board. This one is identical to one that you've seen in many of my past videos if you've watched this channel before. This is an end grain cutting board, which is the best of the best. And it's made by my husband, Devin of Lawson Woodcrafts. I absolutely love this board. I think it is beautiful and it is definitely a conversation piece because anytime we have people over, they ask about this and they say they want one. So I'm super psyched to give one away. We'll be drawing for the winner once we've reached 1,000 subscribers. So check out the link in the description below to see how to enter. So there you have it, healthy eating hacks to help you nourish your body and feel your best. These tips are all about balance and finding what works best for you. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more nutrition tips and nourishing recipes. And don't forget to look in the description for a way to enter to win this beauty of a cutting board and I will see you in the next video. Until then, eat well, be well, thrive.